Let's make margarita pita, one of my favorite pitas. To start, you need pita base. In a bowl, pour 2 cups of flour, add 2 teaspoons of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of yeast, and 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Mix everything. Little by little, add plus or minus half cup of water. Knead the dough for about 10 minutes. I'm using a mixer for the kneading, but you can use your hands. Instead of making your own pita dough from scratch, you can just buy one from the grocery store. Prepare your working area and roughly shape your pita dough like this. Pour some olive oil in a bowl. Turn dough to coat. Cover your bowl and leave it in a warm place for about 1 to 2 hours to double. While waiting for the dough to double, make the sauce. I'll be using this tomato paste. Of course, you can use fresh tomatoes or your favorite tomato paste. In a pan, pour your tomato paste. Let me know in the comment section which tomato paste is popular in your country or at your location. Roughly chop some basil leaves and add. Grate 4 garlic gloves and add to the sauce. Now, add half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper and stir. Leave it on low to medium temperature to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes and leave it to cool down. It's been 1 hour 30 minutes and my dough has doubled. Spread some flour on your working space. This dough is for 2 pizzas. So divide dough into 2. Now do this for perfect pizza shape. You can use a rolling pin but I recommend that you use your hands. I like my margarita pizza not too thin so this is great transfer it to a baking tray for the toppings grab some ripe tomatoes and thinly slice them like this and set it aside for the cheese use mozzarella slice it like this and set it aside fetch the pizza sauce and spread it on the pizza base excluding the edges now place your tomato slices and finish up with the mozzarella slices preheat your oven to the highest temperature and bake your pizza for 8 minutes 30 seconds use a pizza stone to bake your pizza if you have one you know your pizza is ready if the base turns brown and rises and the toppings are cooked. Either wait for your pizza to cool down and garnish it with some basil leaves or garnish it right away. And lovely viewers, bon appetit!